how are data frames and data sets fault tolerant in Spark? So data sets and data frame in Spark are uh, fault tolerant just because of the RTD lineage and the lazy evaluation. Like on the RTD lineage, uh, it will uh, track all the uh, transmission changes that will happen, something like a transmission history that will maintain on the backend. So if any particular uh, partition got failed or corrupted or uh, due to any other issue, it will try to recompute that information, uh, which is already available in the uh, data RDD lineage and also lazy evaluation like uh, once the transmission has executed it has not uh, loaded the data and it, it, it do not do actual computation instead it will create the DAC on the backend so if, if any failures occurs it, it will do the recomputation on the DAC level DAG or RDD information it will be break into the multiple chunks and we can uh, create the checkpoints uh, that will store the intermediate results so with the help of that we can also achieve the fault alteration in the Spark. What is Spark SQL and how does it relate to Apache Spark? So Spark SQL is a module in Apache Spark uh, that is working with uh, structured and uh, unstructured data and uh, it allows users to interact uh, data directly with the uh, SQL queries as well as data frames and uh, data, uh, data set APIs and uh, it is tightly integrated with the core component of the Spark like uh, Spark uh, can use the you know even if the user can write the SQL queries it will uh, directly uh, converted to the RDDs and the uh, programming and then it can execute and uh, it is a unified uh, API like we can able to query the data using SQL data frame or data set uh, APIs and uh, mixed SQL queries and complex transformations also can do it in uh, Spark SQL and uh, Spark SQL uses Catalyst Optimizer. It is a powerful query optimization engine uh, to improve the query uh, execution plans and uh, to execute the efficient uh, way. And also it supports the multiple uh, sources or uh, multiple uh, targets like, you know, it can support the Hive, uh, JSON, Packet, JDBC and uh, many other while uh, benefiting from the Spark uh, other applications as well. So Spark SQL is the one of the module in the Spark that will connect along with the other module like Spark also has other modules like Spark SQL, Spark Streaming, Spark Machine Learning Libraries and uh, Spark Graph. How does Spark SQL leverage data frame and dataset APIs? Uh, as I said earlier, Spark SQL can work with the uh, data frames and uh, data set uh, APIs in the Spark. Uh, it can uh, convert the both the structured and semi-structured data to the structured format. And then uh, uh, Spark SQL allow to write the SQLs, custom defined SQLs, and it will execute and it will send the it will give uh, send the result as in a data frame uh, type. So. Uh, so on top of the uh, Spark SQL module, users can uh, write their own custom sequence and uh, can also write the functions that was defined on top of the data frames and uh, uh, data sets. And mostly when it uh, comes to the performance, uh, Spark SQL module can use the Catalyst Optimizer, which are available in the data frames and uh, tungsten execution engine to optimize the SQL query and uh, to execute the SQL queries in a better and efficient uh, way. And uh, in, in case of the data frame APIs, we can use the functions like select filter uh, join all these operations in case of the data frame and data set api we can use like uh, map flat map uh, group by reduce by key uh, these kind of uh, uh, functions explain the role of the catalyst optimizer in spark sql the Catalyst Optimizer is the core component of the Spark SQL and it is responsible for query optimization and uh, execution and it ensures that efficient uh, query processing by transforming the logical plans into the optimized physical plans for its uh, execution like it the catalyst optimizer has the multiple uh, steps that it goes through one is like query parsing and uh, second one is analysis the third one is logical optimization physical planning and finally code generation so in the query parsing it will parse the query and uh, it will uh, it will generate the unresolved logical plan and the second step is like analysis in the analysis step it will uh, resolve the logical plans by verifying the schema data type and its references and it uses the metadata to validate uh, the query and all and also it converts the unlogical uh, 
unresolved logical plan to the resolved logical plan the next step is logical optimization so in the logical step optimization it will use something like a predicate protons or projection prunings uh, like uh, these things will be used and it will be generated to the physical plans so in the physical plan it will evaluate based on the cost optimization like mostly we can have it to rule based optimization and the cost based optimization so it will uh, select the cost based optimization and it will choose like which join that you need to use and other stuff and the final step is like code generation so in the code generation the physical plan and uh, was generated in a previous step will be generated the back end code to execute it and while executing the code it uses the tungsten engine for whole uh, code generation process it will convert the physical plan into highly optimized uh, uh, java byte code uh, to minimize the runtime overhead so this is how the complete uh, optimization process it will uh, go through and finally it will uh, identify the efficient plan to execute a query and it will execute and it produces the results so that's how the spark sql can uh, uh, run faster compared to rds how can you run sql queries on data frames in spark sql first we need to create a data frame uh, by using uh, parallelize method or by reading an external uh, files some parquet json or any other uh, files so once the data frame has created we have a method something like uh, create r replace temp view method so this method actually convert our data frame to a table name so inside this method we need to pass the table name so it will create the table name inside inside to the uh, spark so after that using the spark.sql function we can write our own sql in the sql customized format and it can execute so this sql function will return the result as a data frame so we need to collect that result and we need to access that result using the show or count or any kind of action so similar to this uh, create or replace temp view we can also have a create global temp views so using this uh, views like we can convert the data frames to the table like column rows format and we can execute the queries using spark sql uh, method what are the benefits of using spark sql over traditional sql queries uh using spark sql uh, have several advantages compared to the traditional one because in the traditional uh, sql it will uh, execute only in one database means the database that was hosted in a single machine but spark sql is something that uh, can be used to uh, execute your queries on a large scale uh, distributed data processing engine and uh, spark sql has a scalability like it can uh, query the data like petabytes or uh, more uh, petabytes or data that was uh stored in the distributed uh, fashion but a uh, traditional sql can't do that one and also it comes with the unified apis like we can also use the data set apis or data frame apis for uh, achieving the complex transformations uh, to achieve the complicated uh, results and also it is for the distributed processing not for single uh, machine processing like if you have like thunder hundreds of servers and uh, the data was located in different servers and we need this spark sql can connect to all the servers and can fetch the data and can do the tr transformation or any other operation defined on top of it and this can support the diverse uh, data sources like we can able to read from the files or we can read from hdfs or we can read from the hive or uh, any other files but the traditional uh, sql cannot do this one and the major advantage is like fault tolerance like it can give you the fault tolerance through rdd lineage and it that ensure that it's a reliable execution even in case of any node goes down in the distributed fashion coming to the performance it will uses the catalyst optimizer and tungsten engine so this can uh, produce the results in a much faster way compared to traditional sqls and also it can integrate with any other modules in the spark like we have a uh, machine learning modules or streaming modules or graphx modules right so we, this can uh, easily uh, integrate with any other module and also we can do uh, the we can execute the queries in a real time and batch uh, batch processing jobs uh, that facility was not available in the uh, traditional sql and coming to the cost since this apache spark is a open source it is a very less cost compared to traditional one if you can go to the traditional one we need to take any uh, license to execute your job so that is also one of the cost effective and it can support the multiple programmings like it will support the scala java python r and other things but sql traditional sql only in the sql format
and other advantages like we can also go with uh, uh, cross session sharing like you created one uh, a table in one session and you can share that uh, table name with some other session in the spark so that flexibility is also allowed uh, by using like global uh, temporary tables so yeah these are all the advantages that have in uh, uh, spark sql